if you are ordered at some point to seize people's guns, will you do it if they are not yeah, breaking uh, the law? Sorry, Dave. Let's let's just end this. Unless your questions have uh, specific relevance to the exercise here today. This Ridlio is sponsored by InfinitCoin.com. Standing here with Master or with Chief uh, O'Leary. I don't know your first name. Yes, Brian O'Leary. Brian O'Leary uh, with the National Guard. And am I saying all that correctly? Yes. Okay. And you're a PIO for New Hampshire. Um, I am not. I'm the aviation liaison for the exercise. Okay, I see. Um, and uh, I'm sorry if I demoted you. No, no, no <laughs> so, that's okay. Uh, but you're, you're just acting as the public liaison for this particular event. Is uh, that correct? No, or... I'm. I'm just here to to interface in the command cell to dispatch. Okay to react to situations as part of the exercise and to dispatch aircraft appropriately. And you're also stuck, stuck talking with me and right. just like me sometimes. Okay. Um, my uh, first question would be, is there anything you're doing differently today that you probably wouldn't be doing if Katrina hadn't happened, you know, based on the lessons of Katrina? Uh, no, everything's the same. It's, uh, you know, it's a domestic operation, whether it's um, a hurricane, a flood, um, an earthquake, they're, they're all the same. It requires the same type of emergency response. I, I wouldn't claim that this is a majority of New Hampshireites who feel this way, but there definitely are New Hampshireites who have the opinion, the, the fear that New York, the National Guard could be used the same way here that it was used in New Orleans, where there was at least mainstream press reports of quite a few gun confiscations of, uh, you know, good people's guns being yeah. taken. Um, sir, what we'll do is let's stick to the exercise here today. I can answer questions about how the aircraft was operated in response to some of the scenarios in the exercise, but I'm not going to go into any other situations that happened either prior to this or speculation. Nobody expects you to answer every question, um, but I'm going to ask questions you might not want me to ask. You can respond however you want. It's okay, not comfortable to say yeah. this is over. Yeah. That's it, simple as that. Okay. Well, I guess my other question would be, do you have any sense of what the total cost of federal taxpayers was for the, uh, for the operation? Uh, that's, I'm not an accountant. That's not my lane. Okay. Um, how many of these have you had uh, in the last, say, two years? Um, this is the year? first one that I've personally been involved with, so that's the only one that I would be able to comment on. Okay. Do you have any sense right now of the, ex the, uh, the extent to which there are New Hampshire National Guard troops that are tied up overseas? What the percentage um, might be? I, again, I would just like to talk about what we were doing here today in Bedford for this part of the exercise. I'm, I'm not going to comment or answer uh, questions about other areas and other operations. That's not my uh, functional role. Okay, well, my role is to ask questions that are on my list, so you can respond however you want, uh, and I'll respect that. Um, but I guess the other question would be, uh, if you are ordered at some point to seize people's guns, will you do it if they are not yeah, breaking the uh, law? Sorry, Dave. Let's let's just end this. Unless your questions have uh, specific relevance to the exercise here today, then I would refer you to um, Lieutenant Colonel Alshorn, who's a public affairs officer for the New Hampshire Army National Guard. So, if if your questions are directly related to what did we do with our aircraft and our ground people along the river in Bedford today and how we interacted, that's fine. Um, but it, the other big space, big timing questions, I'm not going to respond to. Yeah, it's and Channel I, 9's job to ask those operational questions, and it's my job to ask the political questions, I guess, is the way I look at it. Okay. So. If, if there are political questions, then we'll end this. Okay. I, I'm not here to answer those questions. There are some, yes. Okay, so let's end this then. All Thanks right. for your time. Everybody. Thanks, Chief. Though I do appreciate you speaking with me. Sure. Thank you. Thanks. Is that a victim? <laughs> yes, I'm the victim. A yeah. little better now, though. <laughs> Infinite Coin, the cryptocurrency that aims to provide cheap peer to peer infrastructure in developing countries. Their motto real money for real people. IFC is traded on beater.com. That means it's easily converted into Bitcoin. I accepted Infinite Coin for this ad. 
That means you can too. InfinitePoint.com